handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Royal Ascot here on Thursday. It's the 20th of June, 2024. Good luck the stakes races, the group races on the program. But before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 for more selections for race courses around the world, and I mean it around the world. Join me throughout the week for some more Royal Ascot previews. But we're going to look at the group races, races 1 three four and six so let's get to it right now quite a few races to look at the first race to 230 it is the group two north folk stakes it's a group two event going for a purse of hundred ninety thousand five hundred dollars race for two olds here 13 horses are going a thousand meters or five furlongs on the turf course i absolutely love the number two horse here arizona blaze is a top selection i'm gonna go two nine in the forecast exacta two nine forecast exacta top selection of the two horse arizona blaze this um this, um, the two year old, uh, called by Sergi Profev here, uh, pardon me, I mispronounced the horse's name. Adrian Murray and trains. David Egan gets them out for AMO Racing. The horse's most recent outing came in the, uh, Group 3 Marble Hill Stakes, the Cura Six Frongs, 25th of May, and he won by a head that day. Uh, the place horse Camille Parsaro ran yesterday at Ascot, didn't work, ran. Tuesday at Ask, I can't remember now, but uh, ran okay. This horse just uh, in the uh, Marble Hill really had the turn of foot to win. He was traveling decently in the front, and he quickened up a lot, and he got the job then. A very good race. Coming back here, cutting back to five, which I think should be a good thing for this horse. Could show some more forwardly pace, drawn on the stand size, which is ideal. I think he's run a race fast enough, if you go by his time four numbers, that could uh, definitely get him to the winner circle here today. Two back here in the first flyer stakes at the curve, five from six to May. He finished second by two and three quarter lengths that day. Whistle Jacket won that day. He's running back in this one today. And this horse, I just don't think he liked the very soft going. His wheels were spinning. He couldn't catch the winner at the jump on him. But I've seen worse races from horses like that. And then the 18th of March at the Kura, uh, five rungs heavy ground in a main race. He won by four and a quarter lengths that day. And he had the speed to win that day. Quickened up nicely. That was a very good run. He's definitely been improving with every single race. I do think the cut back to five, it should really suit him well. He can win. I'll use him on the ticket. I think the nine horse here, Rock Hunter for Sylvester D'Souza and Amy Murphy could win also. Most recently in the National Stakes a few weeks ago at Sand on over the five, he finished second by head, half a length that day, and if he would have broke out of the gate clearly, he would have won. He didn't break out of the gate, which cost him. He, he, he had to gain a lot of ground, which he was late. He, he just missed, but he, he ran his heart out that day. Prior to that, over the Ascot turf course, five rungs in the novice race, a trial for this one on trial day in May. He finished second by a neck that day, and sending Empress who won that day was the next start winner, but this horse he was with him early on had the lead kind of got overtaken late but you know ran his heart out that day uh, and then prior to the shunty and on, uh, on first of april five rungs in main race went by three lengths all out the winner very good run another horse improving a lot like that he's out of went over this course and raced over this course i'll give him a shot here 20 to 1 to upset these two other races this week have been very random so uh, i think you want to find a horse that could possibly upset but to recount my like for the 230 the first race mascot here on gold cup day it's the group two north folk We're gonna take the uh two horse arizona blaze give kudos to the nine horse rock hunter two nine forecast exacta two Two nine forecast exactly using two at nine also in the quad pot or, or the um you know the place pot for the pick six uh, here stateside. But let's get to the third race now, three forty five for Mascot, um, which is the group two Ribblesdale Stakes. It's a group two event for class one horses going for a three hundred forty six thousand five hundred dollar purse. Race for three old Phillies. Field of thirteen horses going twenty four hundred meters or about a mile and a half on the turf course. I'm gonna take the number six horse here. Calpana, Calpana. I'm gonna go six two in the forecast exacta. Six two forecast exacta. Top selection six horse Calpana. Throw for the bay. Study of man. A study of man. Andrew Balding trains. Ocean Murphy gets the mount. The horses most recent out came Guineas weekend at uh, Newmarket. A uh, mile and a quarter in the pretty poly stakes. And the horse finished second by one quarter lengths that day. He was with them early on that day. Had a decent turn of foot. The winner had the jump on this horse, but she got down the race course well. I think she's been crying out for a mile and a half. She's gonna get it. To Today. She could be forwardly paced. She's drawn very well. I think coming back here second off the bench, she's sitting on a very good race against these horses. Two back here, she ran a class two handicap in Newmarket during a Craven meeting, a mile and a quarter, 17th of April, and she won by 10 lengths that day. She didn't break uh, that day out of the gate so clearly, but after that, she really put on a show. She was with them early on. She quickened up nicely, and then she flew home. 
all around good race first time uh, over the longer race um, longer distance also first time on turf there and then the 7th of March in Newcastle mile and a novice race she finished second by two and three quarter lengths that day she moved a little bit late but I think she was crying out for more ground that day but like I said she's definitely improved with every single race her last race was a quick time form number I'm going to give her a shot on the ticket I think the two horse diamond reign for Charlie Appy and William Buick can win also the race two back in the uh, Phillies trial at Newberry of the mile and a quarter in that listed race she won by two and a quarter lengths that day and basically Basically, from a tracking trip, she really flew home clear. That was a very fast race against some decent horses. Coming here a little extra distance, which she's bred for, she could really get a good run. Her race on debut here on the 1st of May on soft ground wasn't bad at all. She won by a head that day, and she didn't get out of the gate so clearly and had to basically got shuffled out of it, but slowly moved her way into this race, and which she was on the drive. She got going, and, uh, you know, William Buick wrote a terrific race on her to get the job done. She got the job done, going away. Good, good run. Really improved with the race in Newberry, which got the gate a little bit better. Coming here, drawn well, been crying out for a mile and a half. It wouldn't surprise me. Let's use her in the ticket. The quad pop begins with the race or the pick four, like we would say here stateside. So I definitely think you want to use her there. But to recap my selection for the third, 345 now from Ascot, it's the Group 2 Ribblesdale. Going to take the six-horse Calpana. Give kudos to the two-horse Diamond Reigned. Six, two, four, Cass Exact. I used the six and two both in the multi-race. The feature fourth race to 425, the premier race of the week I think. It is the Group 1 Gold Cup. It's a Group 1 event going for a purse of $825,500 race for 4-year-olds and upwards. We have a field of 10 horses going the distance of ground of 4,000 meters or 2.5 miles over the Ascot Turf course. Going to take a shot with the 9 horse Gregory as a top selection. 9-3 in the forecast exacta for me. 9-3 forecast exacta. Top selection 9 horse Gregory. This uh, Fuero Colt by uh, Golden Horn. John Gosden trains. James Doyle gets the mounts. So we're going back to like 2014. James Doyle riding for Gosden. And I think William Buick has a mount for Gosden in this one also. So way back to 2014. But um, this horse's most recent outing came in the uh, Yorkshire Cup at York a few weeks ago over the mile three quarters. And he finished third by five and a quarter lengths off the bench. He needed the race. He just kind of stalked that day. He never really got going until very late in the run. I thought he showed potential with those stairs that day. Coming to your two, and basically, and added six furlongs off the last race, uh, at least, um, you know, should really suit him well. And I think he's, you know, he could stay the trip well and, and get the job done. He ran in the St. Ledger two back at Doncaster over the mile 11, uh, 16 stair. And on the soft ground, he just didn't get going. He finished fifth by five and a quarter lengths that day. He stalked and then just kind of yielded. You know, it wasn't his day to win. Continuous, who this horse got beat by two starts in a row, just really freaked that day. And the Great Voltaire, Group 2 Great Voltaire at York, a mile and a half on the 23rd of August. He finished third by four and a quarter lengths that day. He didn't get out of the gate so clearly. He moved a little bit late, but he still needed something more. But he, he stayed the trip well there. And then back here at Royal Alaska last year, a mile three quarters in the Group 2 Queens Vaz, winning by one and a quarter lengths. Again, not getting out of the gate so clearly, which was the thing last summer with him. But after that, he got a good position. He quickened up and he got the job done a very very good race his race in the uh, coke town stakes at goodwood again before that wasn't bad at all either i think he's been crying out for a longer trip he's gonna get it today he's drawn well i'll give him a shot here on the ticket i think the three horse here who is uh, uh, Kripos um, um, for Aiden O'Brien and Ryan Moore. Um, you know, this horse has been pretty perfect. Um, you know, won this race last year by uh, half a length, staying the trip well, came back to win the Goodwood Cup and the Irish St. Ledger after that, won in France in the Peter Gradron quite, quite easily in 2022. Uh, or excuse me, that was 2022. Missed most of last year where he came back in the Irish St. Ledger where he had a decent place that day and came back to win, uh, it came back to place in the long distance comp uh, behind uh Trollman that uh, back here in the fall came back for win the vintage crop and in the uh, love most stakes at uh, Leopardstown over the uh, uh, over the spring there in Ireland back to the UK back to the course where he's really run these good races I'll give him a shot here on the ticket he could definitely win at four to five I know it's a short price but watch out for him but I do think Gregory's are up and upstairs it could be the next good one for Gosden but here we got my selection for the 425 the fourth race now from Alaska it's the Gold Cup gonna take the nine horse Gregory give kudos to the three horse Kypros uh, nine three four cast Exacta. He's 9-3, both in the quad pod. So we're going to head over to race number six now, the 540, which is the Group 3 Hampton Court Stakes. It's a Group 3 event for Class 1 horses, going for a purse of $190,500. Race for three-year-olds here. Field of 12 horses going 2,000 meters or a mile a quarter on the turf course. And I take the three-horse break and laugh. I'm going to go 3-7 in the forecast exacta. 3-7, forecast exacta. Top selection three-horse break and laugh. This three-year-old Colt by Zoffany. Richard Hughes trains. 
Daniel Thudhope gets to mount. The horse's most recent outing came on the 9th of May at Chester, a mile 5 16 in the D Stakes. And he fit a second by half length van catapult, who really took off clear. This horse, he sat back early, moved his way into it. The winner just really freaked that day, but this horse ran decently behind and back to a longer trip. Back to a mile a quarter drum, very well, has some farther pace like he's shown. I think he could get a, a trip to win. He ran the Cardinal Sticks, a conditions race at Challenge Surf before that over the mile on the poly track, where he won by two and three quarter lengths. Wasn't the deepest race that day, but he sat back early, he slowly moved his way into the race, he quickened up nicely, and he was the less green of all the horses. A lot of horses were just drifting in and out, he was too, but he stayed to the task, a very good run. Keep in mind, Catapult, um, and one next turn out on that D stick, so he, they switched the tables on him. But he ran his heart out that day, first off the bench. And then prior to that, in the group one criterium to St. Clou over the mile a quarter at St. Clou in October. He finished fifth by four and three quarter lengths. Los Angeles won, was the next start winner. Illinois finished third, was a winner this week already at Ascot. This horse just couldn't get into it, was very tired that day, just had a little bit too much too soon there. And then prior to that, a novice race at Newberry over the mile on soft ground, winning by a head. He closed up and timed race perfectly, a very, very good run, but it was a slow mile. Uh, that day on the very demanding ground but refreshing here he could get a shot of it I think the seven horse here who is King's Gambit for Harry Carlson and William Buke went also the race most recently in the um, in a handicap in Newberry with the model quarter was a success one by one uh, four lengths that day he was with them he Stay the trip well, and he got the job done off the bench. It was a very good race. He started four times, four good races at Newbury, so he's going to come over to Ascot today around a right hand to bed for the first time. Let's see if he could stay it, but, um, you know, he, he he had a very nice place in a novice race in Newbury in the fall, and then last summer on soft ground, he broke his mane quite, quite easily. Another horse, I think, Monocore is bred for him through and through. Biggest question is, can he run outside of Newbury? We'll give him a shot here on the ticket. I think he can. But to recount my selection for the 540, the sixth race from Ascot now, it's the group three Hampton Court. Going to take the three-horse break-ins laugh. Give kudos to the seven-horse King's Gambit. Three, seven, four, cast exacta. Use them both in the multi-race. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5. Good luck to everyone.